So this is the front deck on our house that we built last summer. It's been a vision of mine for many years to have a nice deck on the front of our house that we can sit on, enjoy the yard, you can see the garden, you can see the road, you can see the sunsets, and in the morning it's nice and shady. It's a beautiful spot to sit in the morning and have coffee. So I'm really happy with it except for one thing and that is when it gets windy because we have no railings on it. It's, it's quite a low deck so we didn't feel like we needed railings but the problem is the wind comes along on days and blows my furniture right off the deck. Sometimes it lands on my hydrangea here. Sometimes they blow over here into the flower pots. So I was looking into pricing to put just a uh, a fence on this side. I thought maybe I'll put one of those uh, railings that has the the plexiglass so it doesn't really take away from the view. It'll you know cut out the wind and keep the chairs from blowing away. But after I checked prices on that just for doing like one side of my deck here I mean that was it's gonna be hundreds and hundreds and like I think over a thousand dollars after it's all said and done. So it just seemed like a really expensive way to put up a windbreak. So I got a new idea. It involves rebar and about a $120 purchase off of Amazon. I'm going to try putting it together here and show you and hopefully we will have a nice little windbreak here that's actually going to look really good. So I started out by hammering in some rebar here into the ground right up against the edge of my decking here. So my plan is to take this privacy screen that I purchased off Amazon, stretch it out and attach it to the rebar. So I've ordered two of these. They stretch out as far as, you know, however far you want. It just opens up some of the airflow in here. So because I'm trying to make a windbreak, I'm going to use two of these. Maybe not stretch them out quite as far. So they come with these little tie straps. Plus I have a whole bunch of my own that I can use if needed. So we'll start off by uh, attaching these to the rebar. So I got this idea from my daughter who had, lives in an apartment and has a balcony nice balcony and she bought some of these to just add some privacy and some decor to her space and it looks so good I thought I should try this here this hopefully is going to be a cheaper solution than having to put in an actual railing because we have a lot of wind here usually during the summer it's not quite as bad but I'm going to add you know an extra amount of these just to Keep it as secure as I can. So when you attach these, you want to just wrap it through the fence and around the rebar here. I'm probably going to put in a lot more than what they supply here. I want to make sure this stays secure all summer and can handle all the winds that come our way here. So you want to make sure when you're lining this up, especially if you're using more than one of these, that you have got it straight and level. And before you start putting in a lot of these little tie straps, I just did one here and there just to get my level correct and put my furniture in place just to see if it looks okay. And then once you're happy with that, then start putting in tons of these little tie straps wherever you can to help keep it secure. So here's what it looks like from the back. As you can see, I'm using rebar. This is a free resource that I just had here on the farm, so that did not cost me anything. I can always add in some more rebar afterwards just to secure it even more if I feel like it's still a little bit too flimsy. So it's best to do your tying right at a cross piece on your privacy screen. This is the strongest point. Run it around the corner, secure it around your railing or rebar here and I'm just going to add as many as I can make it secure 
Good thing about this is you can always come back with more tie straps if they break. Just kind of keep it strong throughout the season. So here is another look at the before picture of what the deck looked like before I put up the new privacy windbreak screen. So here's what it looks like all installed now. I think it adds a really nice touch to the deck. All that greenery in the background is very subtle, but it really adds to the look. And I think as long as we don't end up with any tornadoes or plow winds over the summer season, this will give a good windbreak, keep the furniture from blowing off the deck. Just so happens we got a windstorm tonight. Unfortunately, no rain, just wind. Seems to be holding up good. So I think in the fall it'll be very easy to put this all away, just cut off all those tie straps, fold up these two pieces of privacy fence, store them away from the winter, remove the rebar, and she's good until the next season. So I hope you enjoyed my little video here on how I spent only $120 to create a nice windbreak and some decor to my deck without having to put in any kind of expensive railing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video.